Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 390RL Columbus River Ranch fifth wheel. Um, this is a very, very unique fifth wheel. Um, this is the first one we've ever had here. I've tried to familiarize myself with as much as I can to make this video. Um, some background, I, my family has sold Columbus for a while, so I'm pretty familiar with the basic principles of this product. However, of course, this is a very unique setup as far as the design is concerned. So I'm gonna try to point out as much as I can. Uh, cut me some slack. This is a pretty new thing to me uh, and the industry in general. So obviously, as you can tell, a very different exterior look. This is a raised floor. So the advantage to this is all of these compartments you're looking at are storage. Um, it, it is amazing. We'll get to that in a second when we go back outside. But walking up, um, it's gonna look like a similar you know, set of most fifth wheels. We have a big fold up four step here. Um, we're gonna enter in a couple things of the entry. Notice we have a huge grab handle. We have a unique, um, very nice, almost like a home style door here. And then we enter in here. We got our nice steps, say River Ranch on them. Beautiful uh, decorative look around that. And then a big guardrail here. We'll talk about that in a second. So you walk up again, you're an elevated floor in here. So we walk up and I'm just gonna turn and show you all this at first. As far as when we're in it, you know, it doesn't really feel any different than most you know, travel trailers or, or, or fifth wheels. Uh, pretty standard like the height i guess as far as that's concerned i can tell i'm higher up by looking out the windows obviously very sturdy so that that's kind of just a look around i want to start here just so you can see this this does have a gate okay i'm gonna try to show you this best i can you can close this off if you want there's a little latch here so you know, if you have pets or children or just for your own, you know, as you're walking by it, you can close that off if you choose to. Pretty nice setup. I think it's a very, very clean look. It's this curved metal, a uh, little wood look on the top here. I love the steps with the River Ranch logo put into it. So simple as that. If you want it back out of the way, you just put it out of the way. So that is the entry area. Big wide steps, as you can see. It's very easy to get up and down these. I know some of you, um, the advantage to this is with the fifth wheel, the disadvantage usually to a fifth wheel, excuse me, is that you have to walk up and down steps to get to your bedroom. Well, not the case here. Once you get into this, um, it's one level. There's no more stepping up and down. So we're, we're going to start up here at the front. So again, we walked in, we turned right. This is our uh, master suite up here at the front. So we can walk in here or we can walk back out. I'm going to show you all both ways of this. Walk through our bathroom and around the corner into our bedroom. Okay, so it, it's a walk-through bath. It's a huge bathroom. Uh, two slides up here. So the first slide is gonna be on our right at our entertainment center. So I'm gonna first step back and show you this with the TV in the down position. That is a slide. I love the, the cabinetry in here. It's got a gold handle. Um, there's This is gray. There's some, some white stuff in here. There's some dark, as you can see the left, some dark wood. They did a good job mixing this up. A lot of things are just straight light colors. You know, the grays and whites, it's become very popular. Uh, Columbus River Ranch did a great job making this a mixture of that. So beautiful cabinetry throughout. Just be looking for that as we go around uh, the unit. Big fireplace here. And then this TV, there's a switch right here that will raise this up. So maybe you don't watch TV much in your bedroom and you prefer the view or the countertop space. You can leave it down all the time if you want it up simple as that so you can see 50 inch there's the logo so nice big tv here um, these are solid surface countertops so very deluxe uh, you'll notice at your um, windows if i can put this back down your windows you know, framed out with the trim work around the window frame just a more residential look um, each window has a, a treatment at the top or a valance if you want to call it uh, you've got roller shades here there's a mcds the blackouts so very nice there Toward the actual front of the unit, I'm going to actually I'll put these back. I had these closed. I think somebody, between me fixing this up for the video and me coming in here, somebody closed them. But I love this look. You've got these big glass door, uh, glass doors with this decorative you know, trim work in it. Very pretty at the front. The right side here is your washer dryer area. So you could put a stackable, obviously put a combo, but you could put a stackable if you want. It's got a nice little 
shelf there, there's shelf above. It's got hidden hinges on these cabinets, so they're very, very deluxe. Actually, that's a soft close as well. <clears throat> See, I'm learning stuff as I'm going through this. So, and then you can slide these doors out of the way and you have a traditional closet over here. So, nice closet, shelving built into that front cap. Uh, big closet rod, there's a light in here, easy to see. Little nook around here to the side. So, it, it's a very nice setup there. Beds, king bed. Um, you do have below the bed, let me raise that up and you can see storage. It's assisted, there's a struts on both sides. Uh, two extra folding chairs for the kitchen if you wanted to use those. This is going to be a little loud. So I'll put this down. Sorry about that. And then at the head of the bed, I like to sit up here. It's got a that whole wall. It's actually like a plastic feel, I guess, or you know, piece on that wall. It's not wallboard, but it's a marble look. You know, a stone look. Very nice there. Um, you have on that side a very nice nightstand. There's a nook in that nightstand. You got floating shelves. Um, these lights. These reading lights at the bed have accent light, and then they have, of course, a reading light as well. So, nice setup there. And then at the ceiling, you do have, see this, a um, ceiling fan. So you got two ceiling fans in here. Uh, one in here, one in the living room. Just a more residential feel to it. And again, the bathroom, you can go either way. I'm going to go back out to the hallway. This bathroom is awesome. So, the slide here starts... To the left you can see right there and it goes all the way down and includes the bed so this slide is in this kit in this bathroom as well i just love this this is just like a home you got two floating sinks here one big huge uh, solid surface countertop we do not see countertops usually this large which is solid surface this is very very nice i love the two mirrors you've got the big long slender lights between them the accent pieces on both sides that the towel racks outlet just a very, very nice homey, you know, feel to it. Storage below as well. Great shower to the left of that. So we got sliding glass doors. Got a seat built into it. Um, stone look. A more residential as far as the faucet's concerned. It goes up and down on that handrail. Then a big skylight also. Porcelain toilet, of course, right here. And I'm going to close this back door. Notice there's a lot of floor space in here. It's easy to maneuver, easy to get in and out. Plenty of space for two people as well if you're both using it at the same time. So very spacious. In the corner, we got a little storage area, a nice little nook. You've got your controls for your tankless water heater. And then again, more storage up here for towels and bath supplies. There is a door to close this off if you want. And if I'm smart enough to open it, there we go. Magnetic. So you can close it off if you choose to do that. So nice setup. We're gonna go back outside. Into the hallway, nice big window in the hallway. So the whole time you're in here, it's just very open. Uh, these are crank out windows, so you can crack them if it's raining a little bit. You want a little bit of air, you can do that. So we're going back into the main area. To the right here, here's our control panel. So if you've looked at luxury fifth wheels, you, you know you've seen this um, this style panel. You've got controls for lights. You've got controls for different devices as far as the awnings, the air conditioning, um, leveling controls, the monitor panel, all that's built into here. The air conditioner, one thing that's very unique with this, because this is a taller unit already because we're lifting it up, this air conditioner, the control is here, by the way. Obviously, I'm sorry I got that off-centered. The control is here. It is a residential-style air conditioner, so we're going to see that when we go outside. Um, there's no roof-mounted air. It, it is a residential-style air conditioner. So we'll see that here in a second, but uh, that's why the control is, is like this little different setup. So I'm going to turn and we're going to go back, look at our living room and kitchen. It is a rear living, 390 RL. Look at the kitchen first. One of the biggest kitchen islands I've ever seen. I don't know if this is six, seven, eight feet. It's a huge kitchen island. Again, solid surface counters. There's tons of outlets. It's got these little, you know, outlet um, additions. It's on that side. Sorry about that. Outlets right there. Again, solid surface, um, tons of drawers, lots of different cabinets. Uh, you've got a great space down there for your trash can. You know, it's just lots of different space. And then the sink, um, I made a video for our one of our other Columbus's, the 382 FB. Same sink as that. I love this sink. Um, it's definitely got multiple uses. So first thing is you've got this, which is like a uh, for drying out, drying dishes. And then you've got your cutting board. 
And all these things sit on these different ledges, as you can see. So you got a cutting board. Then you've got this, which I made the earlier video, and I'm 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 laughing, but I'll be honest, I don't know what some of this stuff is. I'm not I'm not exactly the kitchen maestro. So you've got this shelf thing. I guess it's for drying dishes, washing food. I'll be honest, I don't know. I just think it's cool. And then you've got this additional sink in here that you could stop it up. So I just like it because it's, it's just a lot of different options for different ways you could use this. And of course you've got, I mean, obviously it's a big sink if you just want it all out, like an industrial size sink. So I think that's very, really neat. Allows you some flexibility. It gives you a split sink without having a split sink because sometimes you want a large sink if you're, if you're washing or cleaning um, large pots and pans, things of that nature. So I think it's a cool idea. Put all these back. Uh, you'll notice the sink, it's got that, it's a, it's a black, I don't know, I wouldn't say stainless, but a satin, I guess, um, black look to it there. It's a pull-out sprayer, of course. Um, back here is the pantry. So we got a huge pantry here. There's a motion light, there it goes. Nice big pantry. Um, shelves, C-shaped shelves, so they're very, very big. I like the, the glass insert there into the door as well. Uh, a window here. I, I know it's a small. I like where they, they put windows everywhere they could. They didn't just have blank walls. So I like that. Good place to show you. You do have day shades and you've got blackout night shades. So dual MCD shades on all the windows, except the bedroom. I think the bedroom just has the, the night shades. Um, as far as your appliances go, refrigerator here. It's not a black. I guess it is a black stainless. It's, it's, it's a little more of a gray, um, but I love this look. It's, it's just not, it's kind of an off, off color. Um, huge refrigerator. You've got an ice maker, of course. There's different, all sorts of different trays. Uh, it's got water if you wanted that. Big freezer down here as well. So, you know, what we come to expect is luxury fifth wheels. Nice, big refrigerator. Um, over here, a lot of different, you know, storages, uh, cabinets, drawers, massive residential sized and style stove and oven. It's a huge oven compared to what we usually see, obviously, in a in a uh, RV. Accent lights, a four burner stove, which is very nice. Again, these little outlet, there's all sorts of outlets in here. These little pull up, pull up things that go all around the unit. A uh, big window there at the stove, huge microwave, maybe the biggest one I've ever seen. This ties it, it is huge. So, big microwave, more storage. And that's the kitchen area. So as far as seating and living room goes, we have, this is our fourth slide. So I didn't point out, our third slide obviously is our kitchen appliances. Our fourth slide is over here. So in this slide, I've got my table and chairs. Again, we have two folding chairs underneath the bed if you want to use those. Kind of that rough hewn look on our, uh, on our table here. And then we've got these two chairs. I'm trying to lock this door. Sorry about that. Somebody was going to come in and interrupt my video, so I'm trying to lock that door. Um, you got these two chairs that are a little different. They're swivels. Um, very, very neat chairs. It's a vinyl look, uh, which brings us to my next point. No carpet is this woven material, so no more dealing with stained carpet, carpet that's holding odors, none of that. You don't have to deal with that. We, we love that. And then your theater seats are here. A um, couple things about them. They do have, of course, big storage here in the middle. They've got accent lights. And they are electric reclining. So as you can see, get out of the way. Touch of a button and you can easily recline your theater seat. They are directly across from the entertainment center. So another fireplace. We have two fireplaces in this unit. JBL audio system. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's very clean sounding. Um, you've got this. So you've got your two, I guess I call them tweeter speakers on either side. And then the main speaker here. And then you've got some speakers in the ceiling as well, a different zone. So it kind of gives you a, a surround sound effect as far as the way the speakers are set up. And they also control the outside speakers also. And then you've got your TV, and then there's storage behind it as well here. So maybe you've got a gaming system or a dish or direct, something like that, Roku, whatever, different things. You can put that in there and have space for it out of the way. At the back, big trifold sofa. Again, more windows. More accent lighting, more cabinets. Love the glass inserts. I like that gray and gold um, hardware. I really do like that. And then there's our other ceiling fan. We talked about that. There it is. So this is from the back corner of the unit. Very, very spacious. 
All right, so we're gonna go back outside. And this is where it's really cool to me. I just don't, I've never seen anything like this. So I'm gonna show you the storage compartments because that is what is absolutely mind blowing about this. So these storage compartments, there's tons of them. I don't know how many there are exactly. It's just huge. You know, I, we've seen this in fifth wheels to have one of these like this, but it's, it's essentially from here back, we have this much storage. It's just unbelievable. There's lights all in here. Um, we'll go to the other side as well to show you some things. I just want to open these up and let you see them. Just an absolutely massive amount of space. The dry weight on this one, I think, is exactly 14,079. Um, they got a cargo carrying capacity around like 3,900. Um, again, that, I mean, that's a ton of stuff. I don't know if, who's going to reach that, but my point is there's a lot, a lot of storage. Um, and I want to show you before I keep going down there, the awning coverage as well is very impressive on this unit. So we got two different awnings. See one up here and then the other one starts right there to the left of the door. Uh, metal wraps on those canvases to protect them. So you literally got awning coverage. I mean, as far as they can make it on this side of the unit, incredible awning coverage on this. Very cool looking decals, great fiberglass, dark tint on the windows, frameless windows. It is a very, very slick looking unit. This one might be hard to open just because I have to have two hands. Let me see if I can hold that gimbal and do it. There we go. So see, it's just a ton of storage. Um, slam latch compartment doors, of course. It just feels like more like a motor home. I feel like I'm in a class A motor home at this point. Um, outside speakers, there they were. And see, these are, this is where it's amazing. I mean, this is just, this is huge. You can put a kayak in here. I like the bike. I could easily fit my bike or bikes, plural, in here. I mean, cornhole boards, uh, boogie boards, all sorts of chairs, camping equipment, tools. I mean, whatever you want to put. Generator. It, it could all... Obviously, don't run the generator while, while you have it in here. Disclaimer. Don't do that. Don't come blame me for that. Um, but my point is, it's just it's huge. It's an absolutely massive amount of space. There's a TV hookup right there. Um, before I forget it, at the suspension, you do have more ride suspension. You can see it's custom there for Columbus. A very nice setup there. And then these tires, if I remember right, they're G-rated or, yeah, there we go. So load range G, y'all see that? I'm trying to zoom in for you. G-rated tires. So I'm just trying to add more and more features that are beneficial. Um, we'll go back and look at this again. I know y'all may be tired of looking at this. I just think it's incredible. That is all one big storage compartment. So, and I like it, honestly, as a guy who has to service these as well, this is nice. I can easily get to, you know, water lines, electrical stuff. It's just easy access. Air conditioner is actually right there. So I can take that panel down and y'all can see around the corner. See, there's the, the AC. So again, pretty easy to access that. So I, I think it's cool from a, from obviously as an owner's perspective, from a dealer's perspective, it's a very cool idea. Ladder on the back, the backup camera prep as well. Um, there's even a little hitch right here. If you want, if you somehow needed more storage capacity, I guess you could keep adding to it. I, th I think it's gonna have plenty, but they did put that on the hit on there. Uh, you have power cord reel right there. All sorts of different lights, like there's little night night lights and porch lights all around the unit. Um, I'm still going to show you all these. I want you to see them all. So some of these have motion lights, as you saw right there. But that's it's just very, very impressive storage. Actually, more than I said, like a Class A. It's really more than a Class A. More than most, unless you get into diesel. So here's your uh, your water hookup compartment. You got the Nautilus system, similar to you know what Columbus has been using. Um, you got a, right here a little port where you could run your cords up through. And then a water filter there if you choose to use that style water filter. Furnace right there. Uh, your termination point is right here for your tanks. And then you've you got valves right there as you can see them right there. There's your valves. Tankless water heater. There is it. There it is, I should say. And then right here, this is the other side of that storage in the front we looked at. One thing I like, so you got the touch, touch panel, which they're cool. I get it. Everybody wants one. They can have problems. They were very smart here. You have a backup. If that touch panel were to fail, you've got regular standard switches 
to run your slides and run your awnings if for some reason that thing failed because they do they they, they do have problems obviously we have computers and phones that have problems uh it can too so i really appreciate columbus taking the time to put that in there that is an extremely nice user-friendly feature uh, battery disconnect and then again just more storage um there are you'll notice there's some ducks in here be honest full disclaimer i haven't determine exactly what that is if that's tied into the furnace some type of heat strip or heat pump I, I don't know but i do like seeing that at least there is some type of you know thermal temperature control going on in here in this basement uh, there's your inverter for the residential refrigerator and then there's your um, mini control pad for your jacks you can also control them inside as well Six-point hydraulic auto level on this unit. Self-leveling, of course. At the front, um, more storage up here. If I can open this for y'all, sorry about that. Some more storage up here. Uh, we already got a battery on it. You could put two if you wanted to have two, but more storage. That's the theme of this. Just storage everywhere. And then at the front, um, it does have a really nice pin box. So flex air pin box, which for a unit of this size, I, I definitely definitely appreciate that so very very nice pin box on this for you i love the front cap um just really cool look so beautiful unit uh 2021 390 rl river ranch by columbus palomino uh, it is a four slide rear living unit the first in the industry with an entire raised floor flat floor throughout tons of storage um, incredible residential features in a fifth wheel. And that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. Click the link in the description for more information. Thank you very much.